All right, what's up guys? My name is Gabe Cruz and I'm on the Braille Skateboarding channel today. So right now I'm gonna show you how to cut your grip tape the easiest way. First off, there's a few basic tools you're gonna need for this. Uh, you're probably gonna need some scissors and maybe a blade. You gotta get a sharp one for this. And uh, you're gonna need a board and a sheet of grip tape. So uh, first off, you wanna think of what pattern you want to do on your board. So uh, me, I do the Revive Lifeline grip, uh, but you could do a line, you could do any shape you want. So really you just have to decide right off the bat what you wanna do and then plan from there. The first thing you do is trace the design you want. So you can use uh, anything you want. You could use your scissors or your blade. But first off, you uh, get the design on the board and you pretty much just draw out what you want to have. So uh, once you have that traced, you can start to actually cut it. So you get your blade, you press really hard down on it, and you're gonna cut however you want the design to look. Um, once you're done cutting it, you can start uh, placing it on your board in different orders, seeing what you think will look the best, and pretty much doing it however you want it to look. The big issue when you're doing this when you cut the grip tape out, you automatically think you're going to be able to just put it on and it's going to be evenly spaced, and sadly that is not the case. So when you try to line it up on your board before you stick it on, you're going to see that some parts are overlapping, some aren't even, and that's going to irritate you to the most extent. But you are going to have to fix it. So the thing you do is you have to just slowly cut out little strip from each little uh, from each strip like right here until it's even and that may seem a little confusing but you just want to make sure you have one side where you want it to be where you want the grip tape to be placed and you're gonna have to look all over the rest of the grip tape and make sure it's even and you're gonna have to slowly cut out each little correctional strip to make sure you get the even final look that you want so uh, yeah it's it's pretty easy once you uh, start cutting it to overcut, so you have to be really careful just to make small adjustments because you can always cut more but you can't add any back. So make sure that you only cut off what you need. Once you have it, it uh, depends on what design you're going to do. Mine is kind of more difficult so it's kinda, you're going to have to kind of shift it around and maybe cut a few minor adjustments to it. So uh, once you're done cutting out the design, you're pretty much just going to make sure you map it out on the board where you want it to be. You're going to peel off that back sheet of the grip tape. You're going to stick it on there and it's going to look beautiful. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it's an easy thing. You just got to take your time. That's a big thing with this is you can't go into it in a hurry or you, know, you just want to have a set solid amount of time where you're just sitting there being patient, cutting the grip and it is going to look good, I promise you. So. Uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped and uh, hopefully you like my grip tape because I love my grip tape and I want all of you to love yours. So go ahead, take the time, cut that grip tape nice, make sure it's all even and you're solid. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped you out. Please click that subscribe button, click the like button and leave a comment below. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching.